Hey everyone, here's some bonus clips of the past storms since we've moved down here of the Boiling Springs, Southport area. And uh, this is the, re the reason why you're going to want to either keep your drain plug in or keep your drain plug out. So I hope you enjoy some of these clips. So there you go, everybody's making their way through it. Hurricane Florence and Boiling Springs, just north of Southport. Yeah, there's the boat ramp. There's the park back there. Water's about maybe a foot and a half, two feet from the top of the, the dike or the levee back there. But it's definitely coming up. So this is Boiling Spring Lakes now. The water was over all that yesterday. And the dam is blown out. This is pretty neat. Get the fly rod out. All right, so Dorian is about maybe two hours away by car for the eye of it off of Myrtle Beach right now. So we're gonna talk to you guys about drain plugs. Do you leave it in or take it out? All right, so this boat right here, you'll see there's only one drain plug. There's no other holes in it. There's no other place for any water to run out. This is what we call a non-self-bailing deck. So, if I was to put that plug in, the bilge pump would have to run the entire time to keep getting the water out of the boat. So, this will basically be what we'll call as a killer pump. It's going to keep cycling and keep pumping water the entire time during the storm. So, we're going to land sink this. So, if that battery dies, it's going to fill up with water inside and then get into all the electrical components. So on this type of boat, you'd want to pull your drain plug. So that it's draining through that the entire time. Your battery stays good, it's always ready to go. You can come right out, If say the water level's coming up and you got to go, just screw the drain plug in, untie it, back it out and go. The other type we have is like the Parker right here. This is called a self bailing deck. All right, so you have your drain plug, you have a deck in the boat. So the water level, your boat floats here, our deck in the boat is up here. So everything will run to the back and then come out. So this boat, you can't land sink. As long as you keep your drains open, you can see right up inside and the water will come running out. So we could technically leave the plug in this boat and the bilge pump isn't gonna run and it's not gonna kill our battery. On this one, I just felt like taking it anyway because sometimes a little bit of water does gather in there and this way it's just gonna drain out. So this is a self bailing deck. See your deck right here. You've got your drain holes right there. So this will self bail. This won't kill your battery this one will kill your battery. So, that's that part. Yeah, I just wanted to add to the end of that video there. I don't know if you noticed it, but I had the skip hooked up to the truck. And when we had Florence, I had it so that the boat was actually going down the driveway to the road and the truck was pointed up to the house. I did that because they said we we're gonna get a lot of rain. So we had 30, about 36 and a half inches of rain for Hurricane Florence right here, right down the road. They marked it at Sunny Point. So that was about at the end of our road at the stop sign. It was four feet deep. And we had just these potholes of water that just couldn't get out. And then we were dry up here. And then down the road, down the other end, you had another three and a half, four feet of water. So it was kind of like that all over the place. But if you keep looking at these storms, in four years, we've had three storms here. We had Dorian this year, Florence the year before. Matthew four years ago or just before we moved down here but if you keep looking at the frequency of how much more they're starting to pop up and happen 
you got to start thinking a little bit more of how my boat's going to save me. So we had that ready to go to back out. The problem was I went down to the road and I launched it. I could only get about another 150 yards or so until you'd hit land again because it's so potholy here. There's a, it just wasn't that deep for that long. You couldn't get anywhere by boat. So you had unimogs and stuff come through driving around here, dropping off rations and stuff. But uh, we were out, out of power that time for eight days. So uh, you'll see in one of the other videos we'll go over, uh, I'll use the Parker and I had 40 gallons of gas in that one and I kind of, I'll stock part of my gas with the boats and uh, we'll, we'll have a video on that to go over with you guys too. But I wanted to add to that one because it wasn't a whole lot to it with just the drain plug in it. But this gift I had the drain plug out, I had it back down the driveway where it was ready to go and launch. I could put the plug in and go at any time if, it, if we had to, if it was going to be that bad around here because it wasn't draining out and then you'll see that the lake down there blew out and it went about an hour after we drove over it so uh it kind of everything else drained out behind it but i uh, just wanted to add to that video if you guys have any questions always contact me uh don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and uh hopefully you guys watched the one on how to siphon gas out of your boat to run your generator so uh stay tuned there's, there's plenty more coming